very interesting to see how he handles that. Welcome to the fight between the immovable object and the unstoppable force. <laughs> Let's quickly go to the tail of the tape. Sasha Sharma of the Bengaluru Tigers takes on Abdul Azim Badakshi from the Delhi Heroes. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Slight height and reach advantage to the Afghani. The referee for the fight, Alan Fernandez. All right, guys, you've been through the rules in the locker room. Any questions? If you want, touch gloves, step back to your corner. How's that ticker, Nick? Because mine is beating at 200 miles an hour. I think I still have my heart rate monitor <laughs> on from earlier in my workout, and it just broke. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we warned you about the cliches tonight, and that's going to continue till the end of this league. Man, I, this is the fight I've been looking forward to most. Out of all the matchups that I've seen on paper, it comes down to this one. I hope it delivers. Oh my God, we've been waiting for this for a long time. And you know what? I'm saying this with confidence. If there was anybody to match up against Abdul Badakshi, it would be a man like Sasha Sharma. He looks focused, he looks ready. He was so calm when I talked to him earlier at the hotel. I mean, this man is a fighting machine. and He's about to come out here and look to thwart the pressure that Abdul, Abdul's been able to put on his opponents thus far, but Abdul comes out and lands a nice one-two, establishing his range, not committing too much to the inside game yet. Now that's the thing with Sasha, he's gonna wait for that one mistake and look to capitalize. Look at those hips from Abdul, that was a perfectly timed takedown a tip from Sasha, but Abdul thrust his hips forward and look was able this. for a moment oh, to get on top. Look at this. But look at this ground prowess from, Sa from Sasha right now. This is what we're talking about, high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu skills, but then again, Abdul straight back to his feet. This is one incredible fight we have on our hands. You know what, we've said this, that Abdul is a unique special fighter, but tonight he takes on a grinder who's not worried to get a few hits in. You just saw the way he controlled those hits. Usually when Abdul gets top control on you, nobody's getting back up. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we just saw so many subtle transitions to get back to their feet just shows how dangerous both of these fighters are. And we've got a clinch working right now. That might be part of the game plan from Sasha is to get into clinch range and try to wear oh. out the arms of his opponent. Look at that, shot in for a single. Didn't quite get it. And Abdul asked Sasha to stand right back up. Want to Interesting. Keep this thing striking. Another takedown attempt on a single leg. Look at that. Jumps on that single, but he's gonna get. He's gonna eat some shots for that one. Oh, quick reversal. Good hips by Abdul. Abdul has shown incredible takedown defense thus far. But Sasha's gonna stay on him, like you said, like a wet blanket. He's not gonna give him any room to breathe. <laughs> and one opening presents itself. Oh, big knee Sasha's by gonna Sasha. be able to find it. I just like the way he just dives in for the takedown. And you know what? Sasha needs a victory here because they trail 10 points to zero. But the hits of Abdul to be able to defend these takedowns so effectively and efficiently is crazy. Now he's almost into full mount on Sasha right now. Incredible stuff from Abdul thus far. But Sasha, though, staying patient here. He's got control and now giving up his neck. He's got to get both hooks in. One's loose and Sasha's trying to control the other leg so he can't wrap it through his feet. Very. Subtle, but savvy stuff from Sasha on bottom. And now we got a body triangle from Abdul on this his back. Is, this is a bad, bad spot. The body triangle squeezes the opponent on the bottom and restricts their breathing. This is one technical war we have in front of us right now by two high-level fighters. So far, Abdul's getting, getting the edge, and he's got Sasha in a real bad spot. He's got a potential neck crank from this spot. It's hard to finish that on someone that's got a lot of experience with somebody on their back like Sasha does. But nonetheless, Abdul should take his time, be patient, look for the opening. But you know what, he lets it go. It's gonna be an interesting fight. It'll come down to who's got the bigger tank here. And Sasha, though, is, is the more active fighter. He's been fighting around that body triangle, though, from the bottom. 
is paying dividend. You can see Sasha breathing. He's not allowing him to turn in, but there wow. he goes. Turns into him and gets back into his guard. That is not easy to do when you got a body triangle on, but he rolled to the right side, was able to get some pressure on the ankle of Abdul, and here we are, Abdul trying to get some great finds in right now and splay him out with an offensive guard from bottom, but the problem with an offensive guard is you leave guard passes available, and that's what we're seeing from Sasha right now as he tries to get into half guard. Sasha doing his best, passes into half guard again, lands those short shots here. Now this is what we were talking about, Nick. Sasha has a very, very strong grappling based game. Abdul is primarily a striker and grappler. He's got great grappling chops. But for how long can Abdul keep this pace? Because Sasha can do this all night. Yeah, he's been conditioning himself for this sort of scrap since he was a kid, probably. I mean, who knows? But he certainly has the conditioning to last. But Abdul doing a great job of using a slightly open guard to manipulate the hips of his opponent. I mean, you do run the risk of your, guard, or your opponent passing through, but at the same time, he is completely minimizing any damage that Sasha can do to him right now. Sasha landing some short shots. Those shots aren't going to hurt for too long, but those will add up as the fight continues. They absolutely will. Methodically and systematically, he's going through the, every step of his game plan. This building is on fire right man, now, Arjun. I just, I'm just going to say, I can't hear myself think. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Me neither. you got to love it, man. It's the semifinals. It's super fighting. What more could you ask for? This is what we said about the top controller, Sasha. As you can see, Abdul Badakshi looking over at his corner for instructions trying to tie up Sasha, and Sasha slowly getting more and more comfortable. He might have weathered that early storm. I mean, it's incredible that Abdul is still able to keep up this pace and this calmness, considering he's already been in three fights in the past four weeks. Sasha looks fresh inside the cage right now, but Abdul does not appear to be tiring. He's doing a good job of tying up his opponent's arms, keeping a closed guard when he needs to, and then trying to manipulate his base when he sees an opening. Sasha doing just enough to make sure the fight doesn't get stood up by referee Allen. And now look, oh, wow, that's what I'm talking about. Hits. But Sasha right back on top of him. This is such a chess match we have. One small opening, Abdul sees it, throws every ounce of energy he's got into his opponent's hips. But Sasha with balance and with awareness gets himself right back into his opponent's guard. This is an incredible fight. We're what a fight and what a way to get this contest started. Abdul Badakshi though, a stud. Sasha was smart. He didn't want any bit of him on, his, on the feet because he knew that that was not his bread and butter, but Sasha took his time. Once he got that established drop control, it was all Sasha for the latter part of that round. Yeah, for sure. He kept diving in on legs any chance he got with almost in desperation because he knew, again, he didn't want to be standing with his opponent. But Abdul showed such good hits, such good takedown defense. It took multiple tries for this incredibly serious grappler to be able to get on top of him like we see right here. And once he was there, he did very, very little damage, but it'll be probably enough to sway this no, for him in the judges' eyes in this round. But look at the latter part of the end of that round, towards the last minute or so. Sasha started opening up, and Abdo was finding it harder and harder. This is that straight right which caught him, but look at the hips on Abdo. Yeah, I mean, he definitely did land some clean punches, but very few, so hard round to score, and what incredible fight action we are privy to right now. There we go, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the action now as we get ready for round number two and what a scrap it's been. Abdul Badakshi, Sasha Sharma. And this is, you know what, this is, these are the contests that I really enjoy where both fighters are so evenly matched up and their cardio is on point. Yeah, they both look like they still have a lot left in the tank, man. That's going to make for some awesome viewing experience. Here we go. If you're just joining us, Sasha Sharma for the Bengaluru Tigers looking to lock up a single here. Great hips on Abdul Badakshi. He is timing those takedowns perfectly off the punches, but one thing that he's not doing is he's not getting super low and driving completely through his hips. He's looking to lock up a single leg as opposed to a double oh, leg Oh, look at that. Almost ate a knee coming in on one of those takedowns, but wow. Man, this takedown defense, are you kidding me? Now we've got Abdul on top of Sasha. Let's see if he can keep this position. Back and forth action here. And Abdul though now in top position is a nightmare for anybody. But look at that, reversing position is Sasha Sharma. Trying to flip Abdul over. Sasha was going in for a leg lock potentially, which is, you don't see a lot of leg there locks in this game, and I think they're very underutilized, but tenaciously going after that leg every time he saw it, and eventually he knew he was going to be able to find an angle to turn the corner and get his opponent back. I mean, you cannot give up on these takedown defenses, or on these takedown attempts. He chains them together seamlessly, and your opponent's eventually going to make a, a mistake, just like we saw Abdul do. You know, we see this time and time, we've seen this multiple times in MMA. A wrestler and a grappler eventually will bear down the striker. 
But this man, Abdul Badakshi, is just 22 years old. He's so young in this game and That's he's crazy. already evolved. Can you imagine with the right camp what, he, what he'll be like by the time he's 26, 27? Yeah, that is insane. The amount of composure and skill he's already got. But again, he's working an open guard right here, looking for an opening to potentially get a sweep. I and mean, he's probably not going to be able to find a submission on Sasha, but he could get a sweep if he can get the correct base manipulation. And Sasha tactically trying to pepper him when he gets the chance, and he's trying to get him over to the cage right now, which will limit Abdul's ability to avoid some of these strikes. You saw that veteran move a moment ago where Sasha covered his opponent's mouth. That's to restrict the breathing, and that's a very, very crafty veteran move. Crafty and savvy indeed, and it is incredibly frustrating to have that happen to you. Bush. I mean, if you get the oxygen flow cut off for a second in a fight like oh, this, man, it's just... demoralizing. You know what, short shots by Sasha Sharma, Starting to land at more frequency here as Abdul Badakshi feeling the pressure. Oh, big right hand over the top. But you know what? Abdul is just tough as nails. You're not going to knock him out easily. No, he's just eating these strikes and not looking like they're doing any damage. But they have to be because his head's not able to move. He's pinned to the mat when he's eating these strikes coming down on him. So we've got some excellent top control. And that blanket style that Sasha brings into this fight, we're seeing on full display, this is probably the hardest man in this tournament to do it to, and he's still able to establish control. Well, that's what we said about Sasha. Sasha, and that's what we said about Abdul. Abdul is great in every department, but when you face somebody who's such an elite level grappler who's ready to take a few shots to come in, and Sasha trains with guys far bigger than him as well. So that's what I, when I had a chat with him, he said, I'm ready for whatever this kid brings. And so far, it seems like it. Yeah, there are levels to this sport and to this game no matter where you're at. And it's not strength that's allowing Sasha to do this. It's form and technique and positional awareness that keeps him in the right spot so that he doesn't have to spend so much energy. He can be efficient with his energy on top and still be where he needs to be as long as he's placing himself at the right spot at the right time. You see grapplers around the world. You see fighters like George St. Pierre who so effectively use their grappling and nullify their opponent's skills. Sasha Sharma being successful so far and just nullifying Abdul Badakshi's devastating striking and KO power. But huge victory for Abdul to get to the cage and use that to get back to his feet. This is where Abdul wants to be, even though he's up against the cage. But again, Sasha keeping that weight on him, tying up his arms, wearing him out as this fight goes on. And with all the fights and all the weight cuts that Abdul's had to go through, Absolutely. I'd be shocked if his cardio can keep you up. You know what? This is, the, this is what we talk about. This is after a point, after a point of grappling so much, that lactic acid builds up in your arms and it will get easier and easier for Sasha to start looking to get those takedowns. I mean, right now, he's just making Abdul carry all his weight. Even though he's up against the cage, you're right, it's still grueling for Abdul to be in this position, and you hit the nail on the head with that lactic acid. At a point, there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing that takes it away is time, and he's not gonna have time in this fight to oh, let that man. happen. Just, you see, even Abdul's gotten back to his feet, but has not done nothing offensively. He's not spun around, he's not spun out of it, which leads me to believe that he might just be holding on here. He might be looking for some space here. Oh, one, two shot. Right as you say that, he finds an angle, gets out, and releases some punches. Let's see if he's still got snap on his strikes. 30 seconds remaining in the second round as Sasha Sharma looking to circle out of Abdul Badakshi's way. Oh, but look at this. Again to the ground is Abdul Badakshi, but Sasha's just been turning it around from these positions. Yeah, he has. I mean, he's inviting the forward pressure of Abdul to come in so he can lower himself to the legs. And he uses Abdul's forward momentum to pull him on top of him. And Abdul's not able to sprawl when that happens because he is coming oh, forward big shot. so aggressively. Big... Hey, you know what? That's a victory for Abdul to at least finish this round with a little bit of confidence on top, yeah. raining down some strikes. But you know what? That last shot was to the back of the head. You could see uh, Sasha Sharma complain about that on the release. But you know what? I will say it. it's 2-0 oh, Sasha Sharma. I agree with that assessment. Abdul's gonna need a finish, I think, in this round to get it done. And here we Talk see this, it. we Next. see the takedown drive from Sasha, not grabbing the double leg, but locking a hold of that single like his life depends on it. Abdul does a good job of getting wow. up from those takedown attempts a few times. That flying knee barely missed the mark, but again, he chains these takedown attempts together relentlessly until he finds himself in the position he wants. What I find, what I find incredible about Sasha Sharma is how quickly he changes levels. You see him coming, and at the same time, you don't and he can hold you in that position and tire you out. His muscles are conditioned for this. Another big aspect of why he's able to just lower himself and grab on and not worry about his opponent coming down on top of him is because he believes so much in his ability off his back to get a sweep and to get back to where he needs to be. When you have that sort of belief in your ground game, you can literally bait your opponent in and pull him down to you. 
third and final round. We knew this fight was going to go the distance. At least I knew, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is awesome, awesome fight action. High-level mixed martial arts skills on full display in front of us right now. Abdul Badakhshi is taking on one heck of a fighter and proving to be holding his own so far. Referee wiping off uh, some of the water. And with Abdul's explosiveness and his vision and his power, all it takes is one mistake from Sasha, oh. and he could find himself waking up on the mat with Tweety Bird flying around his head. So this fight is far from over. A lot of respect between these two. Oh, oh, he's out cold. Wow. He's out cold. Just as I was oh, talking about it. My goodness. Knee to the I chin of his opponent. Cannot. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe it. He is still. Brutally outgoed. Wow. That's exactly what I was just talking about with his explosion and his vision. All it takes is one strike. He unleashed, uncorked that knee straight to the chin of his opponent. And this man is astro traveling right oh in front of us right now, God, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope Sasha Sharma is okay because he took a beast of it. Here we go. Ba Boom. Wow. Oh my God. You cannot time that any more perfectly. And another no. thing about this is that's the the danger of going in for a takedown every time you strike. Oh, Abdul knew as soon as he came forward, Sasha was going to be coming in for a takedown. It was predictable. He saw it. He opened up with that weapon and starched his opponent. Okay, Sasha Sharma is just, I hope we can take a look. The doctors are examining. He's right in front of us. But man, oh man, the brutality of that knockout. Sasha is still not moving. He's going to be fine, though. The doctors are telling him. Oh, there we go. He seems to have regained sad, consciousness, baby. but I'm as a precaution, sad. the doctors are just gonna uh, wheel him out. I think it's a safer alternative. Yeah, I mean, he's still hurt right now. I mean, he got knocked out cold. That's as clean and as wow. powerful of a strike that you're gonna receive. He was coming down as that knee was coming up. I mean, exactly. that's an obliterating strike. We saw the effects of what that timing and what that power can do. My heart goes out to Sasha. I'm sure he'll recover. We've got an excellent medical staff oh, on there hand. We go. Uh, he's better now. I think he's he's coming to, and that's always a good sign when a fighter gets knocked out. But wow, my goodness, he got he took a huge, huge shot. He was hurt. He, there was no hurt. He was just out. He was knocked out. His head bounced off the canvas. That's incredible. That was a true, true knockout. You will not see anything any cleaner than that. And what an incredible comeback and performance oh from Abdul. God. You that know war what? that he just went through after so many fights this season already is incredible. Let's take a look at the replay, if he can get a replay. But what a KO that was. He was out cold. Yeah, if we see the replay here, Sasha's going to duck down to look for a takedown. And Abdul's going to time this knee perfectly as he lowers himself straight to the chin. That is a clean knockout, as clean as clean gets. Six points for the Delhi Heroes. We might have uh, some information that's coming in. Apparently, referee Allen took a look at the replay. Is that an illegal strike? We might uh, we might take a look at the replay here. The referee is saying, okay, let's take a look at this. Sasha coming in, and Abdul knew that was coming. That's up. a legal strike. His knee was up. His knee was His up. Knee was it's up a legal strike. When it landed, that is a legal strike. I don't care what anybody yeah, says. No, that was legal. His knee was in the air. His foot was there. He was fine. It was not an illegal strike. We're having the ref come over right now They're just so we can take confirm a look to him what again. we just said. But this was a clean strike while his knee was still in the air when okay. it landed. Let's take a look again because from what we're seeing, it was a clean strike. Okay, here we go. That was the start. You can see Sasha's knee was in the air when he got hit. That was a clean KO. Six points to the Delhi Heroes, my friend Nick. You were right. But you know what? It's a good thing that the referee saw it again because it's important. We're in the semifinals. A, a loss, uh, you know, a disqualification at this at this stage, and especially an incorrect one, can be devastating. The right process happened to get the correct winner, as it should. What a performance from Abdul, and Sasha's going to be fine. My heart goes out to him. But we've got oh, an man, absolute what, what, savage what inside this cage right now. You know what? Ladies and gentlemen, MMA has arrived, and MMA has arrived in a big way at the Super Fight League. Let's quickly go inside the cage for that final decision.
With that unbelievable KO victory in the third round, what a, what a, I don't even have words, man. What a fight, what a back and forth affair. Yeah, man, the energy in this building is palpable. The skill level by all these fighters that we're seeing tonight is just on an insane level. I mean, this is everything you could hope for in a semifinal situation, and then some, but the Delhi heroes come out here and get, in a lot of people's eyes, the upset over the Bangalore Tigers,